The day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Monday, January 10, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Seattle Kraken vs Colorado Avalanche. Rantanen, Gabriel Landeskog, and Nazem Kadri have combined for 42 goals and 77 assists, while defenseman Kale Maker is adding 15 goals and 15 assists from the point, but the rest of the offense has stepped up as well. Andre Burakovsky, Valery Nachushkin, and JT Comfer have combined for 29 goals and 23 assists, while defenseman Devin Tobes and Eric Johnson have added 11 goals and 27 assists from the point to put the offense over the top. Colorado just set a new Avalanche Quebec Nordiques record with its 11th consecutive victory and is not looking to stop there. The Avs already beat the Kraken 7-3 when both teams met up for the first time back in November in Seattle and are in line to post another hefty triumph, having already won by a margin of at least two markers in nine of their most recent 11 domestic fixtures. Our first betting pick is Colorado Avalanche minus one. Goalie Darcy Kumper, 16-5-0 on the season with a 2.77 GAA and a .908 save percentage, conceded three goals on eight shots in the first 15 minutes of the game on Saturday, before being pulled for Pavel Franka's 1-1-0 on the year, with a 2.86 GAA and a .906 save percentage, who made 18 saves in relief. Frankis has never faced Seattle before, Will Kuemper has won his only previous start against the Kraken, allowing three goals on 28 shots in a 7-3 victory for Colorado in November. The Avalanche, meanwhile, are top of the league in most snipes court per game this season, 4.32, 11th in most goals conceded on average, 3.26, 7th in power play, 24.6%, and 28th in penalty kill, 73.1%. Our second betting pick is over 6.5. Quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Ottawa Senators vs Edmonton Oilers. Ottawa is currently sitting second last in their division. They have played just one game since December 18, and that game was played on January 1st. Ottawa is struggling on offense. The Senators rank 25th in goals per game, 27th in shots per game, 19th in shooting percent, and 29th in scoring efficiency ratio. Drake Batherson leads the team with 28 points. Edmonton has struggled on offense lately. They have scored two goals or less in seven out of the last ten games. Edmonton ranks ninth in goals per game, 12th in shots per game, 12th in shooting percent, and 18th in scoring efficiency ratio. Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl each led the league with 53 points. Dreisaitl is first in the league in goals and McDavid is first in the league in assists. Both teams are missing pieces coming into this contest, though the Senators have gotten healthy with only goaltender Anton Forsberg remaining in the COVID-19 protocols as of Saturday. Meanwhile, the Oilers have had a run of cases, including the one that knocked Connor McDavid out for Wednesday's loss to Toronto. With that said, the Oilers are better offensively when you get down to it and they have at least played some hockey of late. Our first betting pick is Edmonton Oilers. Against Toronto, Edmonton played solid hockey for two periods but faded in the third to wind up with the loss. The opening period of play saw the Oilers outshot 15-9 in the stanza but the game was even at two on the scoreboard after 20 minutes of play. After falling behind 1-0, Brendan Perlini tied the game with his second goal of the season at 9.58 off assists from Colton Sevier and Kyle Turris. Leon Dreset gave the Oilers a 2-1 lead with his 26th of the year at 11.12 off assists from Warren Fajal and Kaylor Yamamoto. The Oilers gave up the equalizer with under a minute to play in the period. In the second period, the Oilers held an 8-7 edge in shots with neither side lighting the lamp, keeping the game even after two periods of play. The third period saw Edmonton with a 13-11 shot edge, but they were outscored 2-0 to wind up with the loss. 
Mike Smith made 29 saves for the Oilers, who were outshot 33-30, and the loss. He'll likely get the call again here. Ottawa has had to deal with a slew of postponements, some due to COVID-19 issues, then the holiday break and now the lack of fans allowed at games in Canada. They have played just one game since December 18, which is an extended period, to go with limited action. The Senators entered Sunday 7th in the Atlantic Division, 31 points behind the Lightning for the division lead and 27 back of Toronto for the final guaranteed playoff spot in the division. In addition, the team stands 18 back of the Bruins for the second wild card spot. Ottawa is 24th in offense as they average 2.69 goals per game on the season. The Senators are 31st in goals against as they allow an average of 3.69 goals per contest this year. Ottawa is 15th with a man advantage as they have cashed in 19.1% of their chances with a man advantage this season. The Senators are 22nd in penalty killing as they successfully navigate 78.1% of their shorthanded situations this season. Our second betting pick is over 5.5. Rangers vs Los Angeles Kings. The offense has been trending in the right direction for New York. They have scored three goals or more in six out of their last eight games. The Rangers rank 18th in goals per game, 29th in shots per game, 11th in shooting percent, and 12th in scoring efficiency ratio. Artemi Panarin is tied for the team lead with 36 points. Chris Kreider is tied for third in the league with 21 goals. The Rangers have been on a roll of late, and it has been the incredible goaltending they have been getting of late. In the last five games, the Rangers have allowed 10 goals, including giving up one or zero goals in three of those contests. Plus, they have played very well on the road, going 13-6-2. Los Angeles was a minus 135 favorite in their last game and they blanked the Red Wings 4-0. Drew Doughty, Philip Denault, Adrian Kemp, and Trevor Moore each scored a goal. Cal Peterson was perfect in the net, stopping all 21 shots faced. Los Angeles has been inefficient on offense this season. They have scored two goals or less in five out of the last 10 games. Los Angeles ranks 23rd in goals per game, 5th in shots per game, 30th in shooting percent, and 16th in scoring efficiency ratio. Anz Kopitar leads the team with 29 points. Our first betting pick is the New York Rangers at plus 1. The Kings are 23rd in goals per game at 2.71, and 30th in shooting percentage at 7.7%. Los Angeles is 25th on the power play at 16.8%. Trevor Moore is on a roll, scoring six points in his last five games. He had six points through his first 30 games. Kemp is second on the team with 21 points. Cal Peterson had not started for the Kings since December 6, but made his return an impressive one, stopping all 21 shots he faced in a 4-0 victory over Detroit. Four different players scored for LA including Adrian Kemp, who recorded his 15th goal of the season. New York is 18th in goals per game at 2.89, and 11th in shooting percentage at 10.1%. The Rangers are 9th on the power play at 23.4%. Barclay Goodrow has 6 points in the last 5 games. Mika Zibandajit is 2nd on the team in goals with 12, and has 4 over his last 5 games. After giving up the first goal of the game, the Rangers responded with 4 unanswered goals on their way to a 4-1 victory. Ryan Lindgren scored two times and Alexander Georgi faced just 14 shots, making 13 saves. Mika Zibanejad and Jar Tenorti also scored for the Rangers. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature, and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.